I'm looking forward to seeing the upcoming The Batman movie starring Robert Pattinson. And when I saw one of the movie posters, specifically this one, I really love how it looks. It's badass, dramatic, and not overdone. Then it came to me, what if Nightwing had his own movie with his own movie poster with the same treatment? I still have a lot of unused photos from my cosplay shoots in the past, so that's what I'll be doing for this video. Stick around till the end of this video for a bonus alternative version of this edit. To start things off, I opened my shot of Nightwing in Photoshop and used the different healing tools and the liquify tool to make everything look more realistic. My style of doing cosplay photos is that I shoot the characters themselves, not necessarily the cosplayer. So in this case, everything has to look less like cosplay props and armor and more like how the character can look in real life. Similar to how in TV and movies, the audience see the characters the actors portray rather than the celebrities themselves. Here, I used a curves adjustment layer and some dodging and burning to make the suit more like metal rather than rubber. I used the pen tool to trace the shape of the character, created a new layer, and with the path that I made with the pen tool, I made a selection and filled it with a color so that I have a separate layer with the selection of the character. After making the selection of the whole character, I removed the background using a layer mask, then used the refine edge tool to clean up the selection for the hair. Using my pen tablet and the brush tool, I also drew in some hair from scratch so that the whole selection of the hair looks cleaner and more natural. After doing all of those, I saved it as a PNG file and here's the result. Now for the movie poster itself. For the dimensions of the poster, I went with the exact same ratio as the poster I found online but with a higher resolution. I placed him on a white background and added a black and red gradient map adjustment layer placed above all the layers so that I can already have an idea of how it looks like with the same color treatment as the official poster. I used some curves adjustment layers to darken the Nightwing photo a bit since in the official poster, we can just see Batman's dark silhouette and the Bat logo on his chest. But for Nightwing's poster, while I am making him darker, I am going to keep it dark enough while still revealing some of the details of the armor. I went with this approach because I think a really dark look fits Batman more compared to Nightwing. At this point, I'm using some curves adjustment layers to tweak the highlights and shadows of the logo on his chest to make it more distinct like with the official poster. Here, I used solid color adjustment layers and brushed around on their layer masks. Black for the shadows on the background and on his feet, and white for the subtle glare on the upper right. For the rain effect, 
I made a new layer, filled it with black, then converted it into a smart object, then set the blending mode to screen. I then used the add noise filter and a Gaussian blur. To control the amount of frame, I added a curves adjustment to the smart object layer itself and played around with the values. For the direction of the rain, I added motion blur. I also added in another curves adjustment to that layer for some tweaking of the contrast. Finally, to give the rain that red color like in the official poster, I added a hue saturation adjustment to the smart object layer, enabled colorize, cranked up the saturation, and turned down the lights. From the blur gallery, I added field blur to the nightwing layer, and since it's a smart object, I can take advantage of the smart filter mask by inverting it, then brush the edges of the character. This will soften the edges, thus blending the character more with the environment, making it look more natural. I duplicated the Nightwing layer, I rasterized it to apply the softened edges, then converted the layer again into a smart object. I also added a field blur filter to this layer, but this time I added different pins with different values of blurring to various areas of the character. This is to replicate the hazy and blurred body part effect from the official poster. I added a white solid color adjustment layer on top of the Nightwing layer and brushed around on the layer mask to blend the character more with the environment and give that hazy effect. And since I already have a black and red gradient map on top of the layers, that white color will just turn to red. I also added another black solid color adjustment layer to add more shadows. To give Nightwing some more texture, I applied a camera raw filter and bumped up the texture and clarity slider. I'm just adding some various adjustment layers to tweak the overall look and color, making it look more similar to the official poster, plus some fine-tuning to the previous layers. good set of film textures online to add to the poster. Link and credits below to the original creator of these awesome textures if you also want to download them. At this point, I'm almost done but I had to do some adjusting on the rain effect so I went back and duplicated the rain layer and adjusted the angle of the motion blur. This way, the scene has rain droplets that go to more than one direction making it look more natural. I also noticed that Nightwing is a bit crooked so I rotated the Nightwing layer slightly to fix the alignment. And since I moved this layer, I had to readjust the other layers to compensate. a slight blur to the Nightwing layer to really sell that faded, worn, vintage photo look.
And there you go. Here it is side by side with the official poster. I gotta say that I absolutely love how this turned out. By the way, thank you to my friend Cholo for being a badass Nightwing. Hit like if you like and comment down below if you have anything for me and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.